I invite you to begin in child's pose today. My own practice this week, which is what my teaching always reflects, has been really centered in the heart. Of course, the emotional and the energetic, but the actual physical space surrounding the heart. The front of the chest, from the sternum to the tips of the shoulders, across the back of the body, the space between the blades. So really the entire rib cage, the thoracic spine, that whole big heart space. I've just felt like I've needed a lot of opening. So I hope that serves you today too. In this practice, we'll really get flowing upon the breath, with the breath, through the breath. I invite you to move as if it were moving you, because it is. To move over it like you would a big exercise ball. To move through it as if it were viscous, thick like honey. In your child's pose, please decide how you'd like the knees to be close together so that the belly can lie across the quads, the shoulders can melt over the legs, or wide open so the belly can flop right through the center. It'll make a difference between whether you're opening the front of the heart or the back. Either is just right. And another invitation to extend the arms out alongside the ears if they've moved back beside the hips, which is where mine usually go. But just for now, to have them upstretched blocks a little of the light, a little of the sound, allowing us to drop in just a little deeper from the very beginning taking away that external stimulation instantly calms the nervous system, as does the rounding of the spine that this pose, Balasana, provides. So begin to deepen your breaths as you start to press into the fingertips a little more firmly. Feel some pressure roll from that first knuckle on the hand through the heels of the hands. Press hard enough that the elbows lift off the mat if they're low. That length in the arms allows some opening across the shoulders. A little further rounding of the spine, deepening our dip into the parasympathetic side of the nervous system, the calm side. That rounding naturally sends the hips a little closer to the heel. Wash the awareness over the thighs, around the knees, down the shins, right off the toes. With your next inhalation, if your forehead's resting on the mat, add just a little pressure and even a sway side to side. It's melting away. A bit of that thinking and the analytical mind there, prefrontal cortex, send it back to sleep. Inhale through your nose. Feel the whole body expand. Maybe you even rise just barely off the mat. Open your mouth, shift your jaw side to side. And with a huge exhalation, feel yourself dip a little closer to the earth. Inhale. Big sigh of an exhalation. One more like that. The inhale fills you, expands throughout you. You contract with the exhale. And with your very next inhale, Lift up just enough that the forehead rises. As you exhale, crawl the hands to the right, all the way off the right edge of the mat as you simultaneously send your hips to the left. So invoking a lateral stretch through the left side of you. If you need a little more, cross the left wrist over the right. 
Now, as you inhale, get that slight lift up like you're illustrating the breath. With the exhale, sink back in. Inhaling, we get that little lift on cross the hands if they are. Crawl your way back through the center. A little pull on the fingertips to maintain length in the arms. Cruise straight into your exhale over to the left. Maybe the right hand crosses over left this time. The hips are definitely pressing to the right. Inhale, a little rise. Exhale, a little dip. With your inhale, make your way back to the center. As you exhale, feel yourself ground. Fingers spread wide apart, palms pressing into the earth. With an inhale, lift that rounded child's pose form up into cat pose. So straight in the tabletop with a rounded spine. The shoulders land just about over the fingertips above them. And then belly dips into cow as the lungs inflate to their maximum capacity. As you exhale, feel the sacrum drawn back in the direction of the heels. Not quite into child's pose, round into the cat as the last bit of breath escapes the lungs. And scoot forward. As you fully inhale, belly dips, chin and tailbone lift. And with the exhale, we're drawing back almost into balasana until you got around into cat. Chin to chest as you sweep the whole body forward. Dip into cow, roll the shoulders back, squeeze the blades together. Exhale. Sacrum is drawn back as if I were pulling it until you've got around into cat. Cruise forward, dip down. Heart opens from the front, tailbones drawn back. Round into your cat pose, space behind the heart opens. Take about three more rounds of these rolling cat cows. Maybe you drop the eyes closed, letting that flow of breath through you and around you guide the way. Deep, complete breaths. Inhales flow straight into exhales, which alchemize right back into inhalations. And as you hit that next inhale, cow pose your deep arch, tuck your toes under. As you exhale, the sacrum's drawn all the way up into down dog. The head goes heavy, chin drops to chest. With your inhale, lift onto the toes, roll out into plank. With the exhale, down dog, feel free to bend the knees on the way up. Chin to chest as you inhale again, lift onto the toes, roll out into plank. This time, let the hips sink into a modified up dog, toes tucked. Exhale carries us into downward facing. Inhale up onto the toes, roll out into plank, let the hips dip to your modified up dog. Exhaling, lift the right leg so it's hovering. As you inhale, press into a three-legged down dog, right toes to the sky. As you exhale, curl right knee to nose, round the spine, turbo plank. Inhale, right leg back up high. With the exhale, again, draw knee toward nose, and then step the foot down between the hands. Let the left knee drop to the earth, keep the toes tucked. Inhaling, the arms reach up alongside the ears. And with the exhale, you're going to circle the arms back as you straighten the right knee and fold into a half split. Let your chin fall toward your chest. As you inhale, press into the fingertips just to lengthen the spine. Flex the right toes if you need more in the hamstring. With the exhale, lower right back down. Inhale to your lunge, right knee bends, arms sweep up to the sky. With the exhale, same thing, arms circle back to the earth as the right knee straightens. We fold. 
Inhale, lengthen the spine by lifting. Exhale, dip down to round. Inhale to your lunge, arms reach up. Exhale, and we draw back one more time, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt. All right, inhaling, we're coming into a high lunge. So the back knee lifts. Left palm grounds, right arm takes a full circle, 360. Palm plants, and with the exhale, plank pose. Inhaling, shift to the tips of the toes. As you exhale, lower knees, chest, and chin to the earth. Inhale for cobra pose. With the exhale, glide through tabletop into downward facing dog. Inhale up onto your toes, roll out into plank, let the hips sink only as low as feels good. With the exhale, left leg hovers. Inhale, three legged dog, left leg to the sky. Exhale into turbo plank, left knee to nose, shoulders over wrist. Inhale, left leg back up, spread your toes wide. And with the exhale, take that big curling step forward, back knee drops. Inhale, arms reach up. With the exhale, they circle back, left leg straightens, toes flex. Inhale, spine lengthens. Exhale, fold, let your head go heavy. Inhale to your low lunge, arms reach up. Exhale, we roll back into our half split. Inhale, a little length lifted by the breath. Exhale, we fold down over that breath. Inhale, one more round, low lunge, arms reach, fingers high. Exhale as our circle back into Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale to melt. Inhale to your high lunge, plant the right palm, circle the left arm. Exhale into plank. Inhale and shift to the tips of the toes. With the exhale, lower the knees. Bend the elbows no more than 90 degrees for a half chaturanga. Inhale for cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale carries us all the way into down dog. Inhale up onto your toes, roll out into plank. Let the hips melt, heart opens. Exhale into down dog. And inhale up onto your toes, this time gaze up between your thumbs. With the exhale, tiptoe up to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Land with the feet about hips width distance apart. You can clasp opposite elbows or just let the arms dangle from the shoulder girdles as you invoke a sway side to side. You might get really wild in your sways. Maybe swinging, maybe bending the right knee as you lean to the right, left as you move left. Again, just accentuating that flow of breath. For one more deep inhale. With the exhale, come to still in the middle, release the elbows if you've got them, bend the knees, maybe just a tiny bit, maybe all the way down into a low squat if that feels good. Full inhalation to roll up to stand. Give the shoulders a shimmy as you rise. And with the exhale, circle the shoulders back in the socket. If that feels good, take a couple. And then pause in Tadasana, our checkpoint. Drop your eyes closed if you'd like. With an inhale, press into your toes. Follow that breath up 
the legs through the trunk beyond the heart space out the crown. With the exhale, feel the shoulders soften. The arms go a little heavier. The heels fully ground. From the ground, the inhale rolls up. You might lean forward into the toes. You might roll the shoulders back. Maybe you even tip the chin up toward the sky. And with the exhale, everything softens. One more round of breath here. Take a scan of you. Add a circle of the head or the hips if it would feel good. And with your next inhalation, reach up to the sky. Interlace all the fingers and then lift them inside out. As you exhale, press them over to the right as the hips move left. Inhale to realign. Press the palms a little higher. And with the exhale, send them to the left as the hips cruise right. Inhale brings you all the way upright, unlace the hands. As you exhale, draw them through heart center, hinge at the hips and fold, palms to shins. As you inhale, press into them to lengthen from tailbone through crown. With the exhale, we're stepping or hopping to chaturanga or half variation. Inhale for cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale as down dog, hips to the sky. With your inhale, rise up onto your toes, roll out into plank. Let the hips sink to that modified up dog. And as you exhale, lift the right leg. Inhale for your three-legged dog, right toes to the sky. Exhaling, bend the knee, open the hip, gaze over your left shoulder. Take a breath in here as you circle the ankle in the sky. And with the exhale, right knee to nose, turbo leg, grounded spine. Inhale, press into the hands, lift that right leg back up. And with the exhale, big step forward, left knee dips. Inhale, arms reach up. With the exhale, they circle back, right knee straightens, bow. As you inhale, a little length in the spine, maybe the right heel slides forward a touch. With the exhale, we melt over that leg. Inhaling, we bend the right knee, lift the left. Big circle of the right arm. With the exhale, we're cartwheeling into warrior two, left arm leads. So hips and shoulders open left, back heel grounds. As you inhale, straighten the right knee, lift the arms up to the sky, palms facing one another. With the exhale, sink back down into warrior two, palms facing the sky. Inhale to reverse warrior. Right arm reaches overhead, thumb and forefinger unite. With the exhale, draw them back through warrior two as if you were pulling the breath over you. Reach forward. Right elbow to right knee, left arm alongside left ear for side angle. Inhaling. Breath rolls up the whole left side of you. Reach a little further. And then exhale, ground a little deeper. The inhale is a cartwheel up through warrior two, straighten the right knee, pivot the toes so you're sideways on your mat. With the exhale, hinge at the hips, palms drop to the mat in line with the feet for prasarita A. With an inhale, press into the hands to get that length through the back. With the exhale, let yourself go. The head and torso become heavy. Two breaths here. Usually super static. You might have just a little motion. Maybe a simple scrunch of the toes into the mat. Maybe a little shift of the sacrum from right to left. With your next inhale, 
ground the palms, press into them. As you exhale, bend the right knee. Keep the hips pretty high, not a full skandhasana. You're pressing down into the hands. As you inhale, straighten the right knee, center up. With the exhale, bend the left knee, grounding into the palms. Just a little opening for the right inner thigh. Good. Inhale, center, straighten the legs. With the exhale, let yourself fold a little deeper. Inhale as a roll up to stand, super slow, twirl the wrists as you rise. And with the exhale, roll the shoulders back. Inhaling, the arms reach out to parallel with the earth. Left toes turn to point toward the back of the mat. As you exhale, we're sliding left hand forward, right hip back, but don't lower into triangle. As you inhale, slide right back up to neutral. Exhale again, reach all that length in the left side. Take it with you into your triangle. So the left hand lowers to the shin or to the earth. With an inhale, the breath rolls from those left fingers up through the chest, out the hand in the sky. Stay for an exhale, maybe leaning back just a touch. One more inhale allows the heart to expand a little further. With the exhale, gently, gently turn toward the back of your mat. Bow over the left leg, square up the hips, let the head go in pyramid pose. With an inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, a little bend in the right knee to launch to standing and split with your next breath in, right leg to the sky. Exhaling, lower right foot down, hips width distance from the left. Peace fingers and thumbs, grip the big toes. With an inhalation, pull up on the toes, tension through the arms, length through the crown. The exhale, power up the arms to draw the belly toward the thighs, crown toward the earth, Padagustasana. Stay low if you'd like, or with your inhale, again, pull up on the toes as you lengthen. With the exhale, squish down into the space left where the breath was. One more round here. Inhale completely. Exhale all the way. Release the toes. Bend the knees. Again, just a little bit or a lot. A low squat has felt good to me lately. If you inhale, roll up to stand. With an exhalation, shoulders roll back in the sockets. Weight grounds into the left foot. As you inhale, draw the right foot up for tree pose to the ankle, the calf, or above the knee joint. Palms unite at heart center, gaze elevates toward the sky. With an inhalation, the palms reach right up into that line of vision. With an exhale, either open the arms wide or cactus the elbows. And as you inhale, reach back up to the sky. Exhale, hands pull down through heart center. Right foot drops down to meet left. One deep breath in samastai, he rolls from the earth up to the heart, which meets the hands. With the exhale, the hands drop to the side. Tadasana, breathe in, scanning up through cross sections of you. And exhale. One more round of breath here. And with your next inhale, reach up to the sky. 
This time I'm gonna lace all but the index fingers and then point a little higher. With your exhale, point them over to the left as the hips press right. With the inhale, the right hand lifts left back up to the sky, even out. And with the exhale, that right hand draws left overhead into your stretch. Inhale to rise up. Unlace the fingers. The exhale, fold down over the legs, palms to shins or hands to earth. Inhaling, the spine lengthens. And the exhale carries us to a chaturanga variation for a flow or straight to down dog for a rest. If you're flowing, the inhales, cobra or up dog. Exhale into downward facing dog, chin to chest. As you inhale, lift up onto the toes, roll out into plank, upper back leading the way, neck straightens out, hips dip. Exhale, left leg lifts. Inhale to your three legged dog. The exhale, knee bends, hip opens, gaze right. A big breath in as you circle the ankle, wiggle the toes. And with the exhale, draw that left knee to the nose, shoulders over wrist. Inhale, left leg to the sky. With the exhale, that same rounding, doming sensation to step forward lightly. Right knee drops. Inhaling, the arms reach up. With the exhale, they circle back, left knee straightens, we bow. Inhale, little lift, maybe a slight shift forward in your half split. Exhale, maybe you melt a little deeper. Inhaling, your high lunge, left arm circles. And with the exhale, we cartwheel up into warrior two. Inhale, left knee straightens, arms reach to the sky like you're lifting the breath overhead. With the exhale, we sink back down into Vira Vajrasana, two palms up. Inhale, reverse warrior, like you're tossing the breath overhead, unite thumb and forefinger. With the exhale, pull it over you all the way into side angle pose. That inhale so deep you can reach further. The exhale so complete the feet drop roots. Inhale as your cartwheel up through warrior two, straighten the left knee, quarter turn on your mat. The exhale, drop hands to hips. Inhaling. You're going to squeeze the elbows toward one another behind you as the fingers draw back on the hip creases. With the exhale, we're folding over those fingers. Inhale, a little lift. Maybe the hands draw back more. With the exhale, we bow into Prasarita Padottanasana B. Two breaths here. Continuing to draw the elbows together, which intrinsically opens the front of the chest. The crown magnetized toward the earth. Next inhale, lift up halfway. Drop the hands to the mat beneath the face. As you exhale, take a bend in the left knee. This time you might let the hips sink a little lower. Right toes flex up for a full skater's pose. As you inhale, make your way through the center. Straighten the legs, press into the palms. And with the exhale, take your bend in the right knee. Inhale to the center. And exhale, just let yourself fold. Head and arms go heavy. A full inhale to roll up to stand. And an exhale to circle the shoulders back. An inhale sends the arms out to the sides like wings. Right toes point toward the front of the mat. With an exhale, right hand reaches forward, left hip 
presses back on the way to the triangle pose. Inhale to slide right back up, straight into neutral spine. Exhale, first reach, get that length through the right side, take it with you into Trikonasana. And inhales, expansive all the way through the wings. The exhale, send the hips forward just a bit. One more inhale, maybe you lift the gaze if your neck is feeling all right. And with the exhale, we gently fold. Turn to face the front of the mat in your pyramid pose. And with an inhale, a little lengthen the side, press into the back toes. As you exhale, a little bend in the back knee. And inhale, left leg to the sky, standing split. With the exhale, we're lowering left foot down onto the left palm for Padahastasana. Right hand slides beneath the right foot. Bend your knees so the belly can press into the thighs as you take this first inhalation here. With the exhale, the feet press back into the hands as the legs straighten a little or a lot. Inhaling, pull up on the feet. And with the exhale, squeeze body toward legs. One more round of breath, maybe a rise and fall or a sway from right to left. Continuously pulling up on the feet as the feet press into the hands. Next exhale, set the hands free. Bend the knees as much as you'd like. And with your inhale, be rolled up to stand. As you rise, circle the wrists, twinkle the fingers. And with your exhale, roll the shoulders back. Press into your right foot. And with an inhale, the left foot lifts for tree pose. You might land in a different spot on this side than the other. But as the palms unite, as the drishti lifts, firmly ground into the big toe, and allow the inhale to rise from there up the leg through the trunk. It lifts the hands up into the sky. With the exhale, the arms open, elbows straight or bent. Inhale, palms reunite overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Left foot drops down directly beside right. Drop your eyes closed and in samastai, he inhale. The whole body expands. The heart presses into the thumbs. With the exhale, the arms drop to the sides as the weight tips into the heels. Inhale, press into your toes. Feel that expansion through the front of you. Roll the shoulders back if you'd like. Turn the face up if that feels good. And exhale. Everything softens, chin toward chest. Shoulders low, glutes release. One more round of breath as you like, as you need. And with your next inhalation, chair pose. Hips sink low as the arms reach high, palms unite. With the exhale, hands pull through heart center, twist to your right. Inhaling, right hand presses into left, tailbone back, crown ahead. The exhale, gaze lowers to the toes. As you inhale, come through the center, straighten the knees all the way up into Urdhva Hastasana. The exhale, let the elbows bend so the hands point down the spine. Pause here for an inhale, send the elbows a little higher, release the triceps. With the exhale, sit back into your chair and sweep your prayer into your twist to the left. Inhale, palms squeeze to heart center. 
Exhale, gaze presses down toward the earth. Inhale to chair. And with the exhale, we fold Uttanasana. Inhaling, press into the toes to lengthen the spine. Let the exhale carry you to Chaturanga or straight to Down Dog. Inhales, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana if you're flowing. Exhale, we unite in Adho Mukha Svanasana. Pause here for an inhalation through your nose. Open up your mouth, big sigh of an exhale, maybe a shift of the hips side to side. And with your inhale, lift up onto your toes and roll out into plank. Hips melt to your modified up. And exhale, right leg hovers. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee bends, hip open, stay. Or lift the right hand to hover or flip. If the right arm is lifted with an inhale, cactus the elbow. With the exhale, we'll all meet in turbo plank, shoulders over wrists, right knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. And exhale, the step forward. Drop the left knee. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, they circle back, front knee straightens, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, a little length, maybe a further slide of that right heel forward. Exhale to bow. Inhale, high lunge, left hand low, right arm circles. Exhale, cartwheel up in a warrior two. Inhale, front knee straightens, arms reach to the sky. Exhaling as we lower back in, the sides stay long. Inhale, reverse warrior. Thumb and forefinger unite like you're pinching the breath. With the exhale, draw it overhead in the side angle pose. Maybe right hand to earth this time. Left arm overhead. Inhale as your cartwheel straight up to stand. Right knee straight, quarter turn on your mat. Exhale and the hands drop behind you to interlace at the sacrum. As you inhale, the heart shines up, gaze follows. Exhaling, we follow the gaze along the ceiling. Down the wall, hinge at the hips, bow. Prasarita Padottanasana C. With an inhale, little lift just to see if there's any length to find. With the exhale, let the head go heavy. Two breaths here. Clasp can rest on the sacrum or reach way up overhead. And again, a little motion is welcome if you'd like to explore. Pressure into the toes. Minute motion through the shoulders. How does it feel to facilitate that flow of breath through the body, through the energy channels within? Next, inhale, lift about halfway up and then drop the palms to the earth. As you exhale, bend the right knee. Let the hips sink, left toes can flex, skandhasana. With an inhalation, right arm can reach out in front of the right knee, left to the sky if you'd like to open up. With the exhale, we're switching sides. You might use the hands for balance or keep them lifted. And with an inhale, the arms open if you'd like. With an exhale, we come to the center, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale as you roll up to stand. Exhale, shoulders melt back. The inhale sends the arms out to the sides, left toes point toward the back of the mat. With the exhale, we take that slide, this time straight into Trikonasana. Just one breath opens up the whole heart, the whole wingspan. 
With the exhale, we fold into our pyramid pose, square up the hips, facing the back of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine, press into the back toes. Exhaling, little bend in the back knee. Inhale, right leg to the sky for standing split. Exhale, right knee bends. Left hand might reach up for the foot. You've got the foot with the inhale, press it into the hand to gain buoyancy in the heart. As you exhale, release into your forward fold, Uttanasana, back of the mat. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. Again, extend arms out to the sides like wings. With the exhale, fold, bend the knees, wrap the arms around them. One deep breath in here. As you exhale, release your fold. And inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. With the exhale, draw the hands through, heart center, twist left. Stay, or with the inhale, peel the arms open, right fingers low, left to the sky. Exhale, the gaze lowers, neck lengthens. Inhale, to come through the center, stand all the way up, lift up onto the toes. With the exhale, let the elbows bend. Pause for an inhale here. Exhale, heels drop, knees bend, twist right. And stay, or with the inhale, open up. Exhale, gaze lowers. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhaling, press into the toes to lengthen for Ardha. Exhale, Chaturanga or straight to down dog. If you're flowing, inhales, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Pause here for that big breath that rushes in through the nostrils. Open up your mouth, stick out your tongue, let go. And inhale up onto your toes. Last time, roll out into plank. Let the hips sink. Exhale, left leg hovers, toes spread. Inhale to your three-legged dog. Then exhale, bend the knee, open the hips, stay or flip by lifting the left hand. One breath in, cactus the left elbow if it's lifted. Exhale, carries us in the turbo plank, super round. Inhale, three-legged dog. And with the exhale, big step forward, as if you were stepping over the breath. Right knee drops. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, they circle back, carrying us into the half split. Inhale, a little length, maybe a shift forward. Exhale, a little dip. Inhale to your high lunge, left arm fully circles. Exhale, right arm leads into Virabhadrasana two. Inhale to straighten left knee, reach both arms up high. With the exhale, we sink back down into Vira two. Inhale is reverse warrior, left arm overhead, get the breath. With the exhale, draw it through warrior two in the side angle pose. Inhale, we rise up, straighten the knees, quarter turn. With the exhale, hinge at the hips, bring the body to parallel with the earth. Drishti directly below the face. Inhale, little hover, reach further to the sides. With the exhale, lower hands to ankles or big toes. Inhaling, press into whatever you're clasping to find that length. With the exhale, use your grip to draw yourself into your posture. Prasarita D. Breathe in. and out. 
Inhaling, lengthen. Plant the palms on the mat. With the exhale, left knee bends, right toes flex. Inhale, arms open if you'd like. Stay for an exhale, maybe taking a half bind by wrapping right arm behind the back or a full by taking the left hand to clasp. Inhale. With the exhale, we're switching sides. Take that bend into the right knee. Then inhale, the arms might open any way that feels good. The exhale, you might go for a bind. One breath in. And with the exhale, we're making our way to the center. Straighten the legs. Center the palms. Bow deep. And inhale to roll up. Exhale, shoulders back. Inhale, arms reach to the sides. Right toes point to the front of the mat. With the exhale, first right hand reaches, left hip presses back, and then trikonasana. Inhale, spread the fingers in the sky. The exhale cushions our bow over that right leg into pyramid. Inhale, spine lengthens. Exhale, back knee bends. Inhale, left leg to standing split. Exhaling, bend the left knee. Maybe the right hand goes for the foot. One breath in Chapasana or wherever you are. With the exhale, right hand to the earth. Left foot steps way back into your lunge. Left knee dips to the mat. Inhale, arms reach up alongside the ears. And with the exhale, arms circle back, right knee straightens, fully full. Inhale, little lift. Maybe you scoot the right heel forward. Exhaling, we'll dip. We'll be here for a few rounds of breath. So you choose if you'd like to keep scooting that right heel forward toward full split or anywhere in between here and there. You might use those tucked back toes to slide the left knee further back on the mat. Or you might just stay where you are. But I invite you to close your eyes once again here to let the breath carry you to where you need to go Feel free to explore, to get curious. If the back toes are tucked, you might point them so the top of the foot rests on the earth. Wherever you've landed, you might invoke just a tiny sway from right to left, just to see what's there. Maybe the head rolls right to left or just chin across chest. One more inhalation rolls through the nostrils. And the exhale flows right back out again. Wherever you've landed, we're gonna start to make our way back into that half split with the hip Stacked above the left knee, right knee straight. As you inhale, bend the right knee, lift the back. With the exhale, we're going for a hop switch. So a little dip and a little lift. Left foot lands between the hands, right foot back, or feel free to just step into it or crawl in, right knee drops. Inhale, arms reach to the sky. With the exhale, they circle us back into our Arda. Inhaling, we lengthen, maybe the left heel scoops. With the exhale, we dip. 
We know where we're headed. Drop the eyes closed. Let the breath light the way. Take your time. This side is likely totally different from the other. We're physically asymmetric in the hips. Tendons and ligaments, different lengths through right and left. Energetic differences between the solar and the lunar. Maybe your exploration on this side is a little different as well. Maybe there's more or less motion. Inhale so deeply, you lift slightly from wherever you've come. Exhale so completely, something deepens. Might be the space between the chin and the chest. Might be body to earth. Breathe in. And out. Now slowly, gently, begin to move. A little different on the way out. We're just bringing that right leg forward to meet the left. So however you get there, sway onto the left hip. Another hop switch. But as you land in your seated position, allow yourself a sway from right to left. Reestablishing your center. Grounding. And then inhale, arms reach up high, fingers spread wide, inviting in the light. With the exhale, reaching out over the legs, keep the arms hovering alongside the ears. With the inhale, a little lift. As you exhale, dip in. Now let the hands drop to the feet or the legs or even the earth beside you. With an inhale, take that press into whatever you're clasping. And with the exhale, draw yourself in to your Paschimottanasana. If the hamstrings have had enough, feel free to bend the knees and wrap the arms beneath them. Drop your eyes closed. And here, savor the sweetness of the same rounded spine that Balasana, child's pose, provided quite a while ago. Inhale. Feel the belly expand with breath. The rib cage follows. Maybe the crown presses a little further forward. As the exhale flows away, you might find yourself deepening. One more breath in. The exhale, hands meet the mat on either side of the legs. Use a full inhale to press into them to work your way up through the center, neutral spine. The exhale, Take yourself down onto your back. Inhaling, lift the legs up to the sky. You'll stay here in this L shape. Or with the exhale, lift the hips for full shoulder stand. If you're coming into shoulder stand, keep the chin super centered to protect the neck. Walk the hands from the sacrum up the lumbar into the thoracic spine. Snuggle the elbows down into the earth for stability. Drishti toward your toes for one more big breath in. With the exhale from shoulder stand, take the toes overhead for plow. 
If your legs are up in Viparita Karani, feel free to hug knees into chests. Just one more inhalation. And as you exhale, we're making our way down into the back, legs back up into the sky, that L shape where we began. As you inhale, flex your feet. With the exhale, bend your knees, set the feet on the earth in front of the hips. Take one breath in, grounding from each toe through the balls of the feet into the heels. And with the exhale, peel yourself up into a back bend. You might stay with the palms grounded, fingers pointing toward the heels. You might choose to roll the shoulders beneath you and interlace the hands. You might take a full wheel if you're craving it. But for about three more rounds of breath, Follow that flow of breath from the feet to the knees, down the quads into the hips. They lift a little higher. That same breath tips through the heart into the head. The earth absorbs and recycles. If you feel drawn to lift one leg at a time to the sky, go for it. With one more inhalation, you might lift up onto the toes. If the hands are bound, release. If you're in full wheel, start lowering. And with the exhale, we'll slowly, slowly melt the upper back to the earth. The center of the spine follows. The sacrum releases, heels drop if they're lifted. A neutralizing inhalation here. Send the arms out to the sides like wings. Exhale. As you inhale, press into the feet. Lift the hips just enough to scoot them over toward the right edge of the mat. As you exhale, let your knees drop to the left for a gentle twist. Inhale. Through parted lips, blow the exhale away. Inhaling the knees point up, the hips lift and scoot through the center over to the left. Exhale and the knees drop right. Inhale. Blow this exhale away. Inhale, knees point up, hip center, and then press down toward the heels. So the sacrum is snuggled into the earth already. As you exhale, you choose either to let the knees knock together here for your final rest, or to send the heels out toward the front corners of your mat. Inhaling, wrap your arms around yourself for a hug. Hands clasp the shoulders. Give a snuggle, opening up the space behind the heart. As you exhale, lay the arms down alongside the body. Palms facing the sky for Shavasana. You might roll your head from right to left a few times. With each one, draw your chin a little closer to the chest to lengthen the neck. The eyes flutter shut as the gaze behind them lifts up toward the crown. The inhale flows into the brain. The mouth opens wide. And the exhale cascades out. The neck releases, shoulders soften, arms go heavy, fingers loose. And inhale begins in the heart 
and expands 360 degrees through the rib cage to the outermost layers of you. Thoracic spine presses into the earth. Through parted lips, flutter the exhalation away. The lumbar releases as the abdominal wall loosens. And inhale, draws the sacrum a little closer to the comfort of the earth. The pelvis and hips soften. Through the nostrils, the exhale pours. Simultaneously, both legs let go from the quads beyond the knees through the calves out the toes. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Rotate ankles and wrists. Slide your legs together as you spiral your arms up overhead. Interlace all the fingers, flip the palms inside out. Inhale. Exhaling, hug knees into the chest, drop the arms around them and squeeze. With an inhale, take a sway side to side, not just across the back, but the back of the head. Sway all the way onto your right side. And pause for one round of breath, eyes still closed. The next inhale, lift yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Exhaling, the shoulders roll back, palms face up, thumb and forefinger unite in chin mudra. Symbol that we're prepared to receive all we need to fill our hearts now. And inhale, rolls from the roots up into you, nourishing as it rises through the heart, out the crown. The exhale cascades down over the shoulder the elbows, into the palms. With an inhalation, unite the palms in front of the heart. You're sealing in your practice, all that you have received. Lift your hands from your heart to your head. So that your vision might be clear as well. Loka samasta suki no bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Namaste.